Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Well, it's now time to trim one of the trees in your backyard, but it's really easy to overlook one of the most important parts, and that's what's called the bottom horizon, taking care of the bottom of the tree. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Well, it's come time to prune one of your trees and it's kind of overgrown and you can start in the top part of the tree, but that's a conversation for another day. Today, we're gonna talk specifically about what's called the bottom horizon, the bottom portion of the trunk and trimming that up. Now, there's a common misnomer out there. Many people think that if there's a branch that's coming out the side of the, of the trunk, two foot above the ground, that as the tree grows, that branch is gonna move up and therefore later on clear, uh, give a lot of clearance between it and the ground. That is not true. Growth in the vast majority of trees and shrubs works on the top part, not the bottom. So if something is in a position uh, above the ground, it's generally gonna stay in that area. So why would you prune the bottom to create a bottom horizon? Well, number one is to improve the appearance. If you end up with a tree that has lots of bottom branches like this, it essentially looks like a huge shrub. Not especially attractive, uh, not uh, very useful for shade under it and that sort of thing. So number one is appearance. Number two is for utility. So like we said, if you've got low branches coming out the side, you want to prune those out, especially if the tree is something where you want to sit under it or you need to work around it. It's in a lawn, so you're going to come up and mow under it. Or there's going to be other yard art or other points of interest under the tree. You need to get the tree up arching towards the sky and the third reason you want to do that is to stimulate even more growth up on the top. Whenever you prune a tree, it will respond in some way by growing in another area. So let's get to work on this tree and show you the vast difference in appearance between now and with approximately 15 to 20 cuts, what this will look like. Okay, let's go to work with my trusty little cordless chainsaw. And the size of this chainsaw makes it really handy to get in here, wear gloves as well, safety glasses, uh, so you're ready to go to work. We're gonna work down into the bottom part of the tree and then work around. Let's do it. So you'll notice down in the middle of all this that there's a lot of branches crossing each other and a lot of small twigs. Clean that all out to give a clean appearance to the trunk. All right, when you're cutting branches like this, one of the things you can do to minimize damage to the tree of the bark stripping back here and to make it easier for the branch to fall away is to undercut. So the first thing you do is do a cut about here, like that, okay? And then come down to it. Notice the collar right here on here, and you can see ones that I've done here. I didn't cut too close here. You leave that there so the tree can heal that. So here we go, we're just gonna cut that away and it falls away cleanly. All right, you can see just a little bit of effort makes a huge difference and where you decide where to stop. If you wanna trim up higher, thin out more branches in the interior of the tree, that's up to you. If you found this video to be helpful, please like it and better yet, subscribe to our channel. And when you do, ring the bell so that you'll be notified approximately every Saturday of another great video about the home, the shop, the kitchen, and product reviews. And while you're here, check out this other video where we reviewed the DeWalt cordless string trimmer. Or you can check out this other video that we created for you that we and YouTube thinks is perfect for you. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.